Hi folks, here is a quick tutorial for how to use uh, ProQuest, how to find an article through the Cochise College Library Database for your research assignment. So the first thing you have to do is go to the Cochise College website, which is cochise.edu. You're going to log in through the portal. So it's going to be the first half of your student email. Um, for myself, it's going to look different than yours because yours is going to be your last name, first initial, and three numbers. You don't need anything other than that. So in other words, you don't need at students.coaches.edu. For myself, I don't have those last three numbers because I am uh, faculty, so ours looks different. But again, yours is going to be your last name, first initial, and three numbers. You're going to log in to the portal. You're going to scroll on down to this side under where it says My Communities. For your view, you are going to see Library Research Resources. For myself, I have to click More. However, for you, you should be able to see this link that I'm hovering over right now where it says Library Research Resources. So you're going to click into there. You are going to scroll on down and out of these article databases, you're going to use the one that says ProQuest. This is going to help you for when you have research assignments in other classes, such as in English, um, sociology, psych, other kinds of classes like that. Because I want this to serve as practice for those classes, I'm not going to have you use a basic search engine. I want you to set up parameters. So you go to Advanced Search, and you don't type anything here where I'm hovering into the search bar yet because you have to set up your parameters first. So the most important thing you have to do is make sure that this box right here is checked where it says full text. If it's not checked or if you forget to check it, you won't be able to read the article. So you have to make sure that full text is checked. For dates, I want you to practice setting up specific dates. So you're going to use the drop down menu and you're going to go down to where it says after this date. This screen is going to pop up right here. You're going to replace the year YYYY with the number 2000. This means that the articles that are going to be brought up are going to be published starting with 2000 until today. For your search option parameters under source type, you're only going to check magazines and newspapers. For document type, you're only going to select article. And for language, you're only going to select English. Now further below, for sort results by, for my class, I would prefer that you select most recent first. And the reason I prefer that is it gives you the newest articles first and the oldest articles last. For items per page, this is up to you. You can select as few as 10 articles per page or as many as 100. I'm going to stick with about 50. Now you go back up to the search bar itself and type in your search terms. Depending on what class you have for me is what kind of thing you're going to search. So for example, my Reading 122 classes, you're going to search something relating to art. My Reading 110 classes, you're going to search something relating to what we're studying at the time. So if you're in my Sociology Collaborative, you're going to search for, um, in this case, uh, groups and organizations. For my other Reading 110 class, you're going to be searching either uh, food industry related items or sexually transmitted disease uh, topics. So let's go with um, my Reading 110 class. I'm going to type in this gentleman's name. If you notice, I have it in quotation marks. The reason I did that is because it's going to bring up exact hits with his name. So for this Reading 110 class, this is the gentleman who did the experiments on group conformity. He would have people give the wrong answer on purpose to throw off the one person who knew the correct answer, but who would usually end up caving and just answering the same as everybody else did. So that was a really interesting experiment. If you want to learn more about him, you would put him his name in quotation marks and this will bring up exact hits. If you didn't have the quotation marks, it would bring up articles that had the word Solomon in it and had the words Ash in it, but not necessarily together. So you'd have all sorts of different hits. For example, if you had the name John Smith, it would bring up articles about John Brown and Amy Smith just because they happen to have those words in their name. So um, if you are in my Reading 122 class, and you're interested in art therapy, you would type that in in quotation marks and it would bring up exact hits. So let's go with this one for now. I'm going to hit search and it's going to start bringing up articles. 
Now what you have to do is find an article that you think you can put together a good presentation on. What you're being graded on is how well are you able to explain and summarize an article without resorting to plagiarism. Now plagiarism is a huge problem in the college that uh, the other teachers want us to make sure you learn to avoid. So instead of copying and pasting, you have to be able to explain it to me in your own words. That means you have to pretend I've never seen the article, never heard about anything in the article, and you have to do the best job you can in your words telling me what you read, what you learned from that article. Um, so let's say, for example, you want to look at this article, picking up the pieces, and see if that works for the particular assignment. When you log into the article or you click on the link, it gives you a short abstract to give you a taste of what the article itself is about. And then right underneath it, you have the actual article itself. So as you're reading the article, the main question to ask yourself is, does this article make sense to me? Because if it doesn't make sense to you, um, you're not going to be able to summarize it well or to explain it well, present it well to the class. So make sure you think this is something that you can cover well. The other requirement that I'm about to show you is that the article has to be about a thousand words. This one is almost 4,000 words, and so that's a lot of information to cover well, to be able to summarize well, because again, that's the main thing that we're checking for in this assignment. How well can you summarize, and how good is your reading comprehension? So let's pretend this happened to be the right length, and that the article itself was something you're really interested in. You decide to go with this particular assignment. All you have to do now is go up here to the very top, to the URL bar, which is now blue. You're going to right click and copy that link and paste it into Moodle. You're also going to copy and paste the title of the article itself into Moodle. So let me go ahead and leave this particular tab open. And we are going to log into the Moodle class. So you're going to look for your reading class, and this might take a little bit to get to. The computer is running unusually slow right now. You're going to go to My Courses. You're going to bring up your class. You're going to scroll down to where I put the ProQuest search assignment. In this case, it's my Reading 110 class. All the information I just gave you is typed out right here. You're going to go into the Article Selection Forum. As you can see, a couple of people have already selected the articles. Had one of these people selected the particular article that you wanted, you would have to go back and find a new one because it's first come, first serve. You can't have duplicate articles. Because no one has this particular article, you're going to do add a new discussion topic. In the message box, you're going to right click and you're going to paste. Oops, sorry. You're going to right click and paste the link to your article. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy up there in the URL bar by right clicking. I'm going to go in, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste. So now my article is there. Now I'm going to go into the subject line, go back to my article tab, and now I'm going to highlight the title, and I'm going to copy it, tab back over to my Moodle page, and paste. So now here in the subject line is the title of my article. Here in the message bar or message box is my link. I hit post. So this is going to post it to forum. And now to double check it, you just go back, click the title of your article, click the article itself, and if it works for well, it should take you right over to the article. So now I can go through, um, read through your article, and now you have to wait for me to give you the red light or the yellow light or the green light. If I red light you, it means there was something wrong with the article. It either didn't meet the requirements, it was written in a way that's too hard to um, understand, it might have not even been an article, it might have just been like a book review or a research um, paper, things like that. So if you get red lighted, that means you have to find a whole new article. If you get a yellow light, that means I'm going to say, well, I see these issues with the article but you still have the option to keep going with it if you want or you can go find a new one and if you get a green light then you're all set for this week that means your article is approved and next week is when you're going to start working on putting it together into an online presentation and that's what i'll talk about next week in class anyways if you have any problems let me know and i will be happy to help you out so just stop by my office or email me 
and we'll um, get you all squared away. Thank you for watching.